Hey, so Solana, so goody. <laughs> so if you've looked at Solana recently, it's on, been on a bit of an uptrend. Okay, nice steady climb. Um, its high was uh, $260 some time ago. So it's down massively at the moment, really. 107s, it's been in the 90s. Um, I think it's been lower than that as well. So it's actually coming back up. Okay, so can we see get back to its all time highs of 260? Uh, I believe it can. I believe it can. So if we have a look at uh, the reasons why. So Sol surges 17% after Coinbase lists two Solana ecosystem tokens. So the influ influ influential crypto exchange listed the tokens of two major projects building on the Solana network for the first time. So obviously Coinbase has got Solana on there, but it's got no other Solana ecosystem tokens on the site. Okay. So these two have just been listed. And that's obviously giving it a boost. So it's listed Orca <coughs> and FIDA tokens. Okay. Now what that can also mean is other tokens can then start coming onto the system because what happens is you've got a certain code for each um, ecosystem. They kind of sort of generic kind of coding, okay, for each token and e each ecosystem. So you know, uh, Coin 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 Market, not Coin Market, Coinbase has had stuff like Avax listed um, and all the Avax ecosystem tokens, or some of them anyway. OK, so what this means is there's a good chance that more uh, Solana tokens are going to get listed on Coinbase and that's only good for Solana. And that's why it's up 17 percent. That's the major reason anyway that it's up 17 percent. Um, other news. Um, so this Jane Manchun Wong, who's sort of um, quite a high profile on the Twitter uh, spectrum. She's noticed uh, a few days ago anyway, that uh, Solana was uh, selected. Um, OpenSea's chain filter showing Solana as an option. Okay, so it's not there yet. But when Solana gets listed on um, OpenSea, you're gonna have so many more transactions using uh, Solana, okay? Um, which is just gonna be massive. OK, because NFTs, oh, OpenSea deals with NFTs, in case you didn't know, and NFTs have been such a massive hit, OK, um, where everything's been dropping in price. NFTs have been going up still, OK, so NFTs are kind of where it's at still. And having Solana on OpenSea means you're going to have many more transactions and obviously more um, income. Okay, so that can only be good for for uh, Solana as well. So if we have a look at uh, so this is the coin market chart chart of Solana. You can see here. Okay, it reached its peak about two sixty on eleventh um, of June, twenty twenty one, and we're down here about one hundred seven. So I think there's a good chance that. You know, we can easily 3x from here. I mean, I know a lot of people have talked about a $1,000 Solana and all of that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Eh? Let's try to get back to our all-time highs again, which is only just over six months ago. So that is not an unrealistic goal. And with all the good news um, coming, uh, so if we go back to, if we go to the Solana homepage, you look how many transactions they've done. Uh, it's 54 uh, billion. Is that right? 54 billion? Uh, 700 million. Four, yeah, 54 billion transactions. Transactions per second, 2,483. Average cost per tr transaction, really low. So if you compare to sort of Ethereum gas fees, which can be ridiculous fees. Okay, we've got plenty of validator nodes. OK, so that's all good. So the ecosystem is, uh, let's have a look at this. We can have a look at some of the sort of um, 
things going on. So there's Orca, for instance. And I can't remember what the other one was called, now Fina or something. It's being listed on Prime Base. But there are so many um, different projects, top web free apps, top NFT marketplaces, top lending protocols, okay, top DeFi projects. So it's all looking good for Solana for the future. So are you interested in uh, putting some more money into it or investing? Are you going to top up your tokens? Are you going to buy some for the first time? What's your uh, thoughts on Solana? I'd like to know in the uh, comments, if you want to put in the comments, what you think about Solana and the eco uh, system around Solana. Personally, uh, I haven't been that impressed with the ecosystem around it, if I'm honest. I've invested in Serum and uh, and Radium, and they have not <laughs> they have not done well for me. So um, those are two projects I, I got involved with, and uh, they weren't good. <laughs> okay, well, let me know what you think.